What is poem analysis? A poem analysis refers to a process where one examines the elements in a poem to gain a more in-depth understanding. It requires one to analyze the poem line by line and extract the various themes and other stylistic devices, such as motifs, that contribute to its meaning. Other benefits of poem analysis include the following, gaining an understanding of the structure and pattern used, appreciate the deep meaning, improved critical thinking skills, helps teachers see if students' word recognition and analytical skills are improving, nine elements of poem analysis, form simply means the structure of a poem. It includes rhythm, rhyme systems, and repetition. Narrator, the narrator refers to the voice telling the story. It could be in the first-person perspective where one tells their story, second-person where they address you, and third-person where they talk about the character's thoughts, actions, and motivations hence can be described as omniscient. Mood refers to the general atmosphere or emotions one gets from a poem. It is influenced by both word choice and subject matter. Some poems are sad, while others are joyous or have many other emotions. Sound sound devices are also known as musical devices and use techniques such as alliteration and onomatopoeia. Figures of speech, these refer to the flowery use of language to emphasize something or create an effect. Examples include similes, hyperbole, antithesis, irony, and metaphors. Rhyme is the repetition of syllables or use of similar sounding words in the middle or end of a verse. Meter describes the rhythm or beat pattern in a single line of poetry. It looks at the number of stressed syllables in a text and their arrangement. An example is the iambic pentameter. Theme refers to the subject or lesson to be learned from a poem. Context explains the time, place, and circumstances that influenced the work in question. 8 Steps for a Poem Analysis To get started with your poem analysis essay, you need to use certain steps to ensure you cover all the relevant content. This requires you to take the following steps, 1. Read the poem, then read it aloud, read through the poem to understand the general idea the writer had, then read it aloud to understand the stylistic devices used, such as the rhythm. This will help you notice other traits, such as mood and form as well. 2. Map out a rhyme scheme. Once you read a poem, you will notice the rhyme scheme used, or meter. At this point, you can map it out by pointing out how certain lines or syllables are similar. 3. Check for enjambment. Enjambment refers to the running over of a sentence from one line in a poem to another without any punctuation. It encourages the reader to keep reading by creating suspense. This technique is used in Daughters by Lucille Clifton, Daughters, a woman who shies at the head, of my grandmother's head, brilliant woman, I like to think, you whispered into her ear, instructions, 4. Analyze the form, there are different forms a poem can take, and this often depends on the stanzas and the number of syllables in a line. As such, a poem could be anything from a stanza, limerick, haiku, sestina, or many more, 5. Check the language used, every piece of text follows a specific language to communicate the mood the writer chooses to convey meaning. For this, the writer may use metaphors or figures of speech, as well as literary devices such as alliteration. 6. Study the content, try to decipher the meaning of the text and the themes within. You may also analyze when it was written, to gain insight into the historical context that inspired the writer. Others would also recommend that you read other poem analysis essay examples to see different interpretations or understand the sounds made during a poetry reading. 7. Identify the narrator. Check to see if the poem is written from the point of view of the first, second, or third person. This lets you know how the reader understands and can participate in the story. A first-person perspective uses I, while the second person uses you, and the third person uses words like he or she. They are more likely to feel directly engaged in the first-person perspective, but will feel like an external observer from the third-person perspective. At times, you may come across a second-person perspective, but it is rare. 8. Interpret the poem line by line, now that you understand the form, structure, themes, meaning, and much more with regard to the poem, you can analyze it. You can do this by offering a summary and then paraphrasing each line. It is also advisable to understand that there is likely more than one meaning or major theme, so explore different ideas. 
Palm Analysis Structure, 1. Introduction, in this section, you will begin by introducing the poem, the poet, and the background details, such as when it was published, before proceeding to form the rest of your analytical essay outline. You may also offer a brief summary explaining what the poem is about before you proceed. It is key to include a hook to grab the reader's attention and keep it throughout the poem analysis essay. A thesis statement is also key for a good poem analysis, as it is the driving force behind the essay. 2. Body This is the main body of the text and includes a detailed explanation of your points. It can be either a poetry paragraph or several, depending on the word count required. It is in this section that you present the narrator, mood, tone, theme, use of poetic devices, and figures of speech. 3. Conclusion Use this section to wrap up your essay by combining the various elements of the poem analysis, such as the themes, mood, tone, and other poetic devices extracted. You may also comment on the impact of the piece based on its meaning. Tips when writing a poem analysis just like with other essay genres, you can benefit from some pointers to help you write a proper poem analysis essay. 1. Look up any unfamiliar words, if you do not recognize a particular phrase or word, check for the definition. This is because the piece may be from a past era and contains some foreign words. This is especially common for students reading Shakespeare's work since the legendary author is credited for inventing certain words, some of which are not commonly used today. As such, you may encounter vocabulary such as abhor, reject, absolute, perfect, and balk, hesitate. 2. Note the connotations, allusions, and symbols, a lot of poetry includes symbols and connotations. A connotation refers to what a certain word suggests as opposed to its definition. For example, a rose connotes love and romance, while an allusion is a reference to other texts. An example is when an author describes someone as Romeo, which alludes to one of the protagonists in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. A symbol may be something like a flag that symbolizes societal changes. 3. Understand how to read the poem, it is necessary to know whether the poem was structured to be read fast or slow. For example, some poems by Dr. Seuss, like Green Eggs and Ham, are written in the iambic tetrameter and are not meant to be read slowly as it is comedic. A poetry paragraph may also be structured uniquely. So be keen since it can also affect your analytical essay outline. 